Well, today I thought I would share some of the projects I'm involved with. It's a uh, early spring, and of course, every year a lot of people have small engines that won't start. Uh, they've set up all winter, the gasoline gummed up in the carburetor and plugged up the jets. So uh, it seems like every year I get involved with a lot of this kind of work, and uh, a lot of friends that or that I'm people that I'm friends with, you know, have these things, and they bring them to me, and I help them get them going. And uh, fixing a small engine it is one of my favorite hobbies. Uh, I've worked on them for years and years. I started working on them when I was a kid, taking them apart, see what makes them tick. And it's a hobby I really enjoy, and I, uh, I do it quite often. So today I've got three projects I was going to share with you and just kind of show what I'm doing. And uh, the first one here is this uh, little generator. It's uh, I think it's an 1800 watt generator. You notice on the front panel there it has two 110 outlets and it has a 12 volt battery charge outlet. It's a pretty nice little unit. It's fairly heavy but it has a handle on top and you can carry them around. It's fairly portable. It's not too bad if you were to use this thing camping whatnot. It has a little Briggs & Stratton 4 cycle engine in it. And uh, I've been working on it here for a couple weeks and waiting on some parts. This one here so I took the cover off so you could work on it. It's a Coleman. Coleman Power Mate. It's a pretty decent little thing. I had it running really great. I took the carburetor off and cleaned it out. And replaced half the fuel line here, which goes around to a cutoff valve and then goes up into the fuel tank. And what happened is uh, I got the carburetor all cleaned out and put it all back together and got it running really great and um, the remainder of the fuel line that I didn't replace fouled out my carburetor with a bunch of trash so I had to go back into it again and take the bowl off so I'm uh, waiting for my friend to bring over a, a, a filter I'm going to install between the tank and the carburetor and um, if it has any more loose debris in the tank it won't get sucked up into the carburetor I'll show you I pulled the bowl off and you can see what happened I had that thing totally clean you can see all that trash that it brought in and it hung up the float and it flooded the carburetor and it was partially blocking the jet and so here's a close-up of what I'm working on here you see I've replaced the the elbow here this had a crack and it was leaking fuel put a new fuel line on it and it's loose right now just so I could get the bowl off of it and uh, clean that trash back out again but it's a nice little running machine and uh, hooked it up to a fairly heavy load and it just, uh, you know, it powered that load no problem. Uh, hooked my um, multi uh, multimeter up to it and checked the output and the frequency and it was right on the money. So that's one of the things I'm working on and eventually when I get that filter, I'll put that filter in there and put the carburetor back together and I think it'll be good to go. So I have another one over here that I'm working on. He also brought over a bigger generator. This is a Generac 4000 XL. I think that means 4000 watts probably. It's got two 110 outlets and it has some 220 outlets here. It's got some breakers and also the 12 volt DC output which is pretty nice. So you can charge a battery. You can see the generator there it's not in too good a shape I don't know how many hours is on it and I haven't got it started yet because we're waiting for a carburetor for this one you can see it's kind of rusty it's been sitting around for a while now when I tore into this thing lots of water in the fuel system I'm not sure how it got in there but you can tell by the rust on everything that it's probably sitting outside maybe wicked in around the gas cap so I had to take the gas cap out and take the the valve and filter out at the bottom of the tank and uh, totally washed the tank out. It had like half of it was full of water so consequently it really screwed up the carburetor to the point where I really couldn't clean it out very good and uh, uh, I told the guy that I was helping with this that it might be best just to uh, just to replace it. I set it in the cleaner overnight but you can see it has a lot of rust deposits on it. It was just slapped full of water and corrosion and uh, so for about 90 bucks I think he bought a new one and I'm waiting for him to bring it over so we can 
put it on and get it going. I think this one's going to run fine once we get probably a new spark plug in it and put the carburetor on it. And I've already cleaned out the fuel tank. I think it's going to be a pretty nice little generator. I'm not sure where he got it, but I think he said somebody gave it to him. And I thought that was a pretty good deal. Get a 4,000 watt generator just given to you. And you can see here it's already set up for wheels. You can just put an axle in there and put some tires on it. And maybe something over here on this end. Maybe some sort of a handle and you can have it on wheels, which would really be nice because this thing is too heavy to just carry. So, that's that project. The last project is this funky little tiller. Check this thing out. It's a Troy built tiller. I'm not sure how old it is, but I don't think they've made these in quite a while. And the other reason I say that, it's got a little two cycle Tecumseh engine on it. Tecumseh made some two cycle engines. I've never seen one of the small little ones like this. Never worked on one of these, but I have worked on the bigger Tecumseh uh, lawnmower engines. They made a few of those. You can see it's a Tecumseh. And aluminum. A little corrosion on the aluminum housing there. But it's the same story with this. The carburetor's all screwed up gummed up. Um, the primer bulb was messed up so he was actually able to find one which I was kind of surprised. This is the fuel tank. This is where it goes on the carburetor. It has a little uh, air filter in there. It's just a foam one. I think I'll be able to clean that thing up. It has a little pre-cleaner on it. And uh, the primer bulb I'm not sure where it is but it just fell apart on us so and he's also got a kit for the carburetor. I think this is a Tillotson carburetor. Let's see. It looks like. Yeah, Tillotson, I think. Pretty common little two cycle carburetor. And he's got a kit. A Tillotson kit for sure. So I think it's probably a Tillotson. So that's got everything in it you need to rebuild one of those. And that should get that thing going again. It's got a throttle on it that you can speed up or slow down. And it's also got a, right here, I was going to show you. It's got a little air van governor on it. It's a little two cycle engine. This goes up into the shroud where the flywheel is and the fan blows air across it and it limits the engine speed. It's got a little spring. It's got a little adjustment there so you can uh, adjust the govern speed on it. So I've had these things for a couple weeks now. We're just waiting on getting parts and uh, giving him a chance to come over and we're going to kind of work on them together and get these things put back together. Like I said, every single year it's the same story. A lot of people have small engines and they get gummed up because nobody runs them over the winter. Nobody stores them properly and it's where you get when you start out in the springtime and you want to get these things going. Carburetors are all gummed up and you have to pretty much clean them out and start over. But I don't mind because I, I enjoy this hobby. I've worked on probably thousands of small engines in my life. But So anyway, I just thought I'd share this video and uh, show what kind of projects I got going. And I appreciate you watching and uh, stay tuned for some more videos.